Did you bite your nails? I sure do when I get nervous watching a horror movie and mostly when I'm stressed. Did you know that biting your nails can lead to serious dental risk? Most people think of nail biting as just a bad habit that affects your hands alone, but the truth is it can wreak havoc on your teeth and gums. You can chip your teeth and get sick from the bacteria hiding underneath your nails. Nail biting is a medical condition. Hello, my name is Marissa, Registered Dental Hygienist and Birth Ambassador. I am going to talk about how nail biting can lead to serious problems such as infection and mental health conditions. <sighs> nail biting is known medically as onychophagia. It is a self-grooming behavior involving biting and chewing the nails, including the toenails. It is a destructive habit, especially when repeated and doing um, biting during stressful circumstances. So you're putting excessive force on your teeth when you bite your nails. So this can lead to chips, cracks, or even fracture. So imagine having a broken tooth because of nail biting. But the risk does not stop there. Not only is that painful, but it can also lead to um, tooth loss if left untreated. Nail biting also increases the chances of developing temporomandibular joint disorder. This condition can cause jaw pain, headaches, even difficulty in opening and closing your mouth properly. And let's not forget about your poor gums and teeth. When you bite your nails, you're going to introduce harmful bacteria into your mouth, which can cause infections and gum disease. What are the reasons behind nail biting? Research has revealed the following common reasons for this behavior. Nervousness. Due to stress, and anxiety. In this instance, nail biting is temporarily appealing due to the calming effect it has on the nervous system. Emotions. Our emotional makeup is integral to why we turn to nail biting. Shyness and low self-esteem can have an effect in addition to the pain caused by highly traumatic life events. Perfectionism. Um, you can exhibit this trait when you have a low tolerance for boredom and frustration that is alleviated by nail biting. Boredom, due to inactivity for wanting to find something better to do. Imitation, children copy adults' behavior. So me biting my nails could be a reason why my daughter bites her nails. And psychosomatic, this is unusually seen in aggressive families. And this list brings us to the psychology of nail biting. A behavior frequently associated with mental health conditions and less obviously with a particular type of personality. Mental health conditions associated with nail biting can involve severe emotional distress, this depression, and anxiety. Common psychiatric conditions linked to nail biting in children are attention de deficit, hyperactivity disorder, um, oppositional defiant disorder, and separation anxiety disorder. There is a classification system linked with nail biting as follows. Nail biters who do it without realizing it, Nail biting to control anxiety, nail biting for the purposes of attention seeking, self injurious nail biting to control aggression, nail biting as part of an obsessive compulsive disorder spectrum. Nail biting may also be linked with having a perfectionist personality type. Perfectionism is associated with low boredom threshold and much reduced tolerance for frustration. So, what can be done for those suffering from this all too common disorder? Raising awareness about the condition and its impact is a good place to start. In dealing with the condition, especially in children, a firm warning is ineffective. I tried it with my daughter and that didn't work. However, positive reinforcement and behavior modification techniques have, so, have shown much promise. Check out our YouTube video on how to stop nail biting. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more dental facts.